Good morning, everyone. Martin Aguilar here from the Filipino Hospitality. And welcome once again for another session of our upskill learning sessions. Now, unfortunately, we're not live today. This is a pre recorded session because we're actually going to be conducting a training no? for the Department of Region, uh, Department of Tourism Region 10 about utilizing GCQ for tourism enterprises where we talk about maximization, you know, productivity. And actually one of the topics we discussed there is about health and fitness. No, we, we highlighted the importance of fitness or wellness or, or having a lifestyle of active lifestyle during this session. No, even though we are in a in a in a ECQ or GCQ, no, we have to have a, a habit, no, a lifestyle of fitness because we have to have some sort of balance, no. And we want to talk more about that, no. That's why we came up with this session. Uh, we're going to be talking about today about fitness during and post GCQ, no. Is it possible, no? Is, with 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 our setup, current setup right now, working from home, uh, having you know, basically a sedentary lifestyle, no? Is it really possible for us to, to get fit during this time, no? So we're going to have an interesting Motivational Monday sessions, no, for today, okay? And uh, just to introduce, no, let me go ahead and uh, introduce to you our guest, right? So again, uh, we have Motivational Mondays and as discussed earlier, we're going to be talking about fitness during and post GCQ. Okay. Now we have today with us Coach Rita Sarmiento. So Coach Rita is actually a former Miss Puerto Princesa. No, uh, she's a beauty queen. She's also a former cabin crew, and she actually held different roles and responsibilities in different multinational companies. Right. So. Hindi lang po beauty and brains, no? She also has a lot of experience under her belt. Now, along with this, she's actually our marketing and business development consultant. But now, she's taking on a different role as a lifestyle entrepreneur, no? She's, she has uh, evolved uh, towards achieving more of her passion. And we'd like to hear more about it, right? So today, uh, we're going to have with us Miss Rita or Coach Rita Sarmiento. So, Coach Rita, how are you? Hi, good morning, Martin, and good morning, of course, to all the listeners and watchers, of course, of um, the Filipino Hospitality Upscale Live sessions. It's nice to be right. here. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for uh, joining us because really, uh, we've been hearing a lot of feedback. No? Uh, most of our stakeholders no, in, in our Facebook, in our YouTube, uh, even even in other social media platforms, that's what they're saying. When we were discussing this, no, during during our training on maximize, right? They're they're saying that it's very difficult for for one, say for example, working from home, or even not, you know, even if you're working in the office, like like post COVID situation, it's really difficult. Do you agree that it, it's all it's really difficult for? For you know, like a normal Joe like me to to start start being active and having this kind of lifestyle. Well, actually, it is. Um, I've been through that, and like you've mentioned, based on on my past um experiences, job experiences where I handled um I had a lot on my plate, just like you and other um professionals who are watching right now. Um, sinasabi nila madali lang naman magworkout. Uh, it's not really, especially if you don't have the knowledge and the right education to do that. But, you know, thank God with, with all the online platform that we have right now, with different communities supporting fitness and wellness. So I think later on we will be discussing more of that. Right. So maybe you can share with us your journey. With this kind of I know you're you're a bit busy professional with with, with marketing, business development, uh, your businesses on, on the side. Now how did you transition from, from, you know, a busy bee like everybody else, right, towards having this kind of lifestyle? All right. Um, so you mentioned earlier, no, that I, I became a flight attendant for, I think, three years. So I was flying both international and domestic flights. And being a flight attendant, really, you have to 
uh, maintain the physique. So right now I'm sharing my, my personal journey when it comes to fitness, right? Um, so I had to maintain my physique. So I had to maintain that 110 pounds, you know, I'm not that tall, 5'3 lang ako, so I can't afford to really gain weight because medyo liliit ako tignan. And so from being a flight attendant, way back then, I used to be a dancer as well. So I really had a very um active lifestyle, but come adulting, sabi nga nila, no, right after being a flight attendant, I, I stepped up in the corporate world. So that's where everything um, changed. Uh, from being a flight attendant who who had who needs to maintain her physique, I had to turn to having long hours working on my laptop. No, because I'm in corporate world now, and I think a lot of you can really relate to me when it comes to that. So I've been spending eight to twelve to fourteen hours in front of my um laptop doing modules, reports, and of course, kasama na jan yung stress eating. So sabi nga, saan ba nagagaling yung stress eating? Baka gawa-gawa lang yun ng mga tao. Well, actually, no um. We tend to do stress eating because we trigger the hormones natin, which is craving for fatty and um, salty food. So for the last two years, right after being a flight attendant, I actually suffered from that. And I also had night shift work based on other um, experiences. Ko. And I know there are also a lot of you working right now, even though you're at home, you're still sticking with with uh, um, that kind of work hours. no? So... That time, I also had regular events. So, and relatable din to sa inyo, like you, Martin, I know you can also relate because um, you have a lot of Zoom meetings, right? You have a lot of engagements and talks. And minsan hindi mo na mamalayan, even though you are at the comfort of your home working, I think dun nga tayo mas nagiging workaholic because we are not very uh, mindful of the time facing the, the laptop or facing um, our computers. And I think, yung pinaka bad na nangyari is I lost my work life balance so I really focused with with what I'm doing with my job um I'm very one thousand percent up to it I didn't notice that my health is already deteriorating and actually for the past two years I had no exercises I had no control with what I eat I eat whatever I want kasi nga stress eating ako and that two years of sedentary lifestyle cost me a lot <laughs> ko yon right. there and it's really a challenge, right? I understand. Ngayon, working from home in this kind of setup, parang sometimes it's tempting to just have chips or, you know, some snack beside you. So while you're, you know, browsing or, or, or working in, in with your laptop or something, your computer, andaling ngumuya ngumuya na kung ano-ano ngayon, di ba? Definitely. Um, I can say I, I would agree to that. <laughs> Though, syempre nga, we changed lifestyle already. But that's 100% true. Like, especially right now, you're working from home. Um, It's easy to eat whatever you want without control, without minding, healthy pa doon kinakain ko. As long as you want to eat, sometimes our tendency is to really stress eat, right? So, I must agree to that. Okay. All right. Sige. So, ano pa bang ano? So, it's it's really a challenge. Uh, I think a lot of us can basically relate to this, no? That uh, wala nang ano eh, wala nang control. Tapos wala exercise, de ba? Yen yung mga challenges. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then what so happened? In, during this time? <laughs> yeah, so that's me. <laughs> that's me. Like two years ago, before I. That's actually my turning point. Before I started my um fitness journey. So imagine from being physically fit flight attendant to becoming overweight real quick. No, I think that has something to do with aging as well because during that time, you can eat whatever you want and it's very easy for you to lose or maintain your weight. But as you age, as we age, right? Um, right. Yun nga, mas our metabolism becomes slower. And right. based on the information i gave to you that's really me and it really had a bad effect with my body more than the physical changes i think um the worst part there is that lagi ako nagkakasakit before so it really affects my personal and professional life right so, so napakahirap pa naman nun, no lalong lalo na sa panahon ngayon where everybody's saying bawal magkasakit right definitely right so there um i think what I just wanted to share is my, you know, as a fitness and wellness coach, I know, and I've been through a lot of this. I like what you are experiencing right now. 
um, meron din akong work na kailangan gawin and it's really hard to find time and sabi nga, there are a lot of excuses in the world that you can use for you not to um, start your your um, exercises or workout. So basically right now what I'm sharing to you would be the common excuses that people are using or telling para hindi sila makapag-workout. So there, um... Ano ba yung mga common and, excuses natin? <laughs> yeah, yung mga common excuses natin. So number one is I don't have time. So personally, during that time as a marketing manager for for a big retail um company, I really had no time because mind you not, I was conducting two to three events almost every day. So basically in a month, I have I had 23 events. So from ingress to egress, pre, during, and post, I mean, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. So having that excuse that i don't have time for me during that time i think was it was valid mm-hmm. and I, you can agree to that right what about, Lahat tayo, excuse. <laughs> what about now na yung mga people ngayon sobrang daming time naman <laughs> yeah so i think this is really the best time right so sinasabi nga na i don't have time if no on we are spending like say two to four hours going in and going home because we have to drive, we have to commute. I think it's the best time to maximize instead of you waking up 9 a.m. for work, why not wake up a little earlier to do at least 10 to 30 minutes of jogging or working out inside your home. So the I don't have time excuse may not be valid for now. <laughs> but I think, yun nga, sabi ko dito, put it on your schedule and it's non-negotiable. So make it a priority. Make your health really a priority. Right. Okay, so, so I can see here, you also mentioned I am too tired. And truth be told, no, right now, people think that if you're working from home, you would be working less. And yet, a lot of people, a lot of our stakeholders are saying that they're actually working longer hours, even working from home. Definitely. And especially, I think it applies for parents right now. Like, um, they're spending time also with the kids. They have household chores to do. And I am too tired. It's true, no? Because if before you have your time at the office doing your your job, this time you have to stay at home and then spend time with, with your children and at the same time doing household chores. So I am too tired is a valid reason. So what I suggest there is do you first. So let's say in the morning when you wake up, um, if your kids will wake up around 7 or 8 a.m., have your short workout already because, you know, the tendency is when when you had a lot already within the day, ang tendency mo sa hapon, pagod ka na. So, mas may excuse kang walang magtrabaho. So, I think you have to do it first early in the morning. And if you are night shift naman, I think the moment you wake up, no, prior having breakfast, have a little jog, a little walk, or 10 minute exercise won't really hurt. Then yung lagi kong sinasabi. 10 exercise is still 10 minute exercise. Right. Okay. Ito, mukhang ano eh, lagi din nating naririnig itong, I don't know where to start. Kasi syempre, hindi naman lahat merong experience with working out, di ba? Or, or having a coach. Right. So, I don't know where to start. This is actually my personal experience because when I started with my fitness journey, I really don't know where to start. Also, I don't have any equipment. I don't have a personal trainer because way back in Palawan, where, where I originated, we, we, all, we only have two gyms there. And it's open around 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. So, if I have to go there 6 a.m., I have to go home pa kasi wala namang shower yung mga gym namin. So, it will take a lot of my time. So now that I am a fitness and wellness coach, I want to address these concerns by doing the programs that are beginners friendly. We don't want to do the athlete type workout yet because I know most of the professionals out there are not really keen into getting into athletic type, right? So ang important to, to have them start moving. So my program with Get Fit with Rita would really address these concerns because um these are beginners friendly. Um, they can do the workout at the comfort of their home using their minimal um, equipment. When I say minimal equipment, it, you, they can use chair, tables, bottled water, water jug, right? And you have a community. Later on, we will discuss on that. We ha- you have a community that would really support you all throughout your journey. In fact, if yeah. you have kids, you can even use your kids sometimes no, in working out. I'm sorry? 
your kids. And yung, uh, for those who have kids, you can actually use your kids. Diba? Yung iba, binubuhat as <laughs> parang pang, pang shoulders or pang squats. Yeah, you know, definitely. Definitely. And I think, uh, no, more than using them as an equipment, um, it's a good time for you to spend the time with your family also. And it's you setting a good example as a parent that, oh, my dad is working out, my mom is working out. So they are growing in an environment with, where they can see na, ah, okay, we're living a healthy lifestyle. And it's something that kakalakihan nila, kumbaga, there. Okay. All right. So, ano pa bang hindi natin na... Uh, my ano, body will never be the same again. <laughs> okay. Yan, yung last part. So, that's the most common... Normally, naririnig ko yan sa mga mommies, right? Who already gave birth, who have children. They would say to me na, Coach, mag-workout pa ba ako? Kasi parang ayoko na. Kasi sayang eh. I mean, babalik pa ba ako sa dati? Sag na yung skin ko and all that. Um... I want to prove that this is wrong because um, later on, I will be sharing to you some of my clients' um, results. And most of these are mommies. So it's not really a valid reason to say na my body will never be the same again. It might not be as very thin like before because, you know, again, as we age, our body composition change. No? And, but later, you will, I will show you some results that will really testify that there's always a room for improvement for everyone. Right, so again, let's check it out. So, ano pa bang next natin dito? Right. Um, I think this is the common mistake of everyone. Like, they want to start getting fit, but they don't know what their goal is. So, it's just like also with, I don't know, with um, business man yan, right? You have to set your goal. So, again, it has to be specific. So, what is your goal? You want to lose weight? So, what are you going to do there, right? So it's very specific. Yung iba, I want to lose weight. I want to lose two pounds. Ano yung time time timeline? Baka naman two years yung one mo, ano mo, uh, two pounds mo. So it has to be measurable, achievable, realistic, and um, time-oriented. And of course, no, dapat talaga realistic siya. Kasi minsan, the tendency is that we really put too much pressure on ourselves na gusto mo pag-start mo ng fitness journey mo, wala pang one month sobrang sexy mo na or sobrang fit mo na agad. Again, you have to trust the process and step by step until we reach this goal. Alright. Oo, minsan kasi nakainip eh, no? Yet you're working out so hard. Uh, you've been trying to put some time with all the effort that you've been doing. Tapos yung result, hindi ganun kalaki, right? So it's really challenging for most, no? Yes, and it's very important to really trust the process because sometimes, you know what, the first few weeks of working out, it's really possible that you wouldn't see that much changes when it comes to weight, right? But I think one of the most important things that I always tell my clients is that um, don't focus on the physique because, you know, as you start with your fitness journey, what you are trying to fix first is your mindset and your attitude. Kailangan you have that initiative to take the first step of working out. Yung iba kasi gusto agad ng resulta, hindi pang kumikilos, right? So, again, it's the mindset first that we want to change, the attitude towards getting healthy. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. So, what's next? What's this? Health, healthy um, life tips. Okay. Yes. So, again, you have your goal already. What are you going to do to achieve this to, to achieve this goal, right? So first things first, like what I always tell my clients, never ever starve yourself because we, especially Filipinos, have this tendency like, ayoko, uh, I, I want to lose weight. So ang gagawin, hindi kakain, right? Magpapagutom. So it's really bad. So what I will always tell them is you have to eat healthy. You have to have that mindful eating. So say, for instance, if you really can't give up your favorite rice, you can actually bawasan, pwede from one cup, you can have it half cup, or you can have better options like brown rice or um, red rice rather because it has lower sugar content. And also working out at home, it's very important. Sabi nga, it's 80% nutrition or what you eat and 20% workout. So I imagine 10 minutes workout lang, tapos times 7 more times 5. You spent already 15 minutes of of, of your um, seven days, diba? So it's not really bad. 
And again, taking my supplements, I think that's one of my secrets also because um, we might be eating healthy, but really we are not getting all the nutrients that our body requires within the day. So especially right now, um, we're still in the pandemic, right? So it's very important that you have your immune system boosted, take your vitamin C, um, stuff like that. And of course, getting enough sleep. Ayan, siguro nga Martin, like right now, no? What I always um, hear from, from my friends, since they're working from home, minsan yung break time, instead na gumalaw-galaw, they're gonna watch their favorite Korean novella. Yung mga ganyan, or yung mga Netflix series na highly addictive daw. So minsan, instead of using it for working out, minsan nagiging cost pa to para mapuyat sila lalo. I don't know if we have what um, listeners right now na guilty sa pagpupuyat because of watching too much series. Again, getting enough sleep is very important because it's really the time when your um, uh, cells are regenerating, right? Of course, drinking water, ayan. Meron dyan mga coffee, coffee addicts, right? So, they prefer drinking coffee the entire day, but sasabit, eh, okay lang liquid din naman yun. Um, definitely not. Water is different from other um, liquid drinks. And, you know, drinking water will really flush out all the toxins in your body and it will help you with your metabolisms. And last but not the least, I think this is really one of the things that I want to re reiterate, especially for those who are still working from home. It's the work-life balance, right? So our tendency is to really spend more time now with our computers because we are not that too much mindful when it comes to commuting. Um, hindi na tayo spend ng time to commute nor drive. So our tendency is to really spend the remaining time on our laptop. So let's not forget that we have a family to spend time with. And I think that's the best time. This is actually the best time to really spend time with your family. Doing workout together or um, doing healthy meals, cooking healthy meals together. So that's for my healthy lifestyle tips. And um, I think this is some of the home workout uh, that I can suggest. This is based from World Health Organization. I, I got this information from them. Um, I know a lot of us that are actually working from home. So ano ba yung sinasabi ni World Health Organization? So regularly check your posture while working from home. Diba our tendency, especially if we are sitting the whole day. Talagang naka-slouch na tayo ng ganyan. And we are not mindful of, of our um, uh, back. Kaya minsan dyan tayo nagkakaroon ng mga back pains because we are not sitting properly. And again, number two, breaking up your sitting and standing up while working on the phone or watching TV. So, may mga simple exercises naman that you can actually do while you are just sitting, right? So, May mga makikita tayo sa internet na mga exercises na ganyan. And it won't take you like five minutes. So it's very important to take a break. Nagbe-break ka ba pag ikaw na sa ganyan? I mean, you're working. Right. So syempre, kailangan, no? Uh, ang challenge lang if you're on a live stream like this, yun lang. Yeah. No problema. Pero of course, if you're just, um, you know, doing a report or writing a document, no? It's very important, no? Na talagang you have to have your own break sometimes. Right. Yes. And actually, no, if I may just share, like say for instance, ano ba yung mga workout, ex, uh, workout that you can do while you're sitting. So you can do like um, neck rotation. So ganyan, ikot lang, di ba? One, two, three, four. So I mean, maybe you can do that for 30 seconds. And then you can also have your shoulders roll, rolling. Ito para sa mga nag-work from home. So pwedeng forward, right that. So count ka lang, 30 seconds going front and then going back also, 30 seconds. And then you can also stand, ayan, medyo spin ka lang ng ganyan for, ano naman to, for, for your um, back. Para lang ma-stretch, stretch yung likod mo. So mga simple stuff like that. I mean, it won't, it won't cost you a lot of time, but definitely somehow marirelax ka yung body mo. So that's quite a break for you already na rin. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, here, uh, actually, World Health Organization also se um, says that it's very important right now, even though we're staying at the comfort of our home, that an adult sh should spend 30 minutes of his or her time, at least physically, physical activity ka talaga, 
right? Sabi naman ng ibang mga mommies, eh, nagkustos na ako ng, ano, ng, ng lababo. I cleaned the house already. I, I did a lot of um, household chores. I think that's a different story, friend, because when we exercise, we're really moving more than yung pag nagwawalis ka lang. And of course, for children, I know you are spending time with your family right now, so... Again, we want to reiterate that your kids should be at least one hour active per day. That is per World Health Organization. So I think <laughs> ano naman to, this is really, um, what do you call this? Legit naman to. So these are the um, indoor exercises that you can do at your home. So you can do online exercises classes. So ako right now, um, I'm conducting exclusive, exclusive Zoom uh, exercises, right? And also dancing, you can do that with your kids. You can do also playing active video games rather than the one games na nakaupo lang or just using your thumb. This time you can use your entire body. Jumping rope, I think this is in right now. And the one I shared kanina, your muscle strength and balance training there and i mean maybe the bow we're doing um indoor exercises so some people are asking is it okay to to do outdoor exercises um again as per who um it's okay to to do um outdoor exercises right now and but people should not be wearing their mask so wag daw suotin yung mask because it reduces the ability to breathe comfortably because you know what martin shepherd well, when we do our exercises our heart beat uh, our heart beats faster so we need more oxygen to su to supply so mas pag naka-mask ka the tendency is baka mahirapan kang huminga and also yung sweat mo from from exercising can create microorganisms na of course hindi yun okay it's not, it's not um it's not clean kumbaga so what what WHO says is that you can do outdoor exercises but do not forget to maintain the, your social dis social distancing which is one meter apart from the other there right. so, talagang iwas na lang sa maraming tao no during your exercises yeah, yeah. Right. so walang excuse pala no kasi yung iba iniisip nila at hindi na lang ako mag exercise kasi nga, yun nga, sabi ng ano, government to stay at home. So I will just stay in my room and watch Netflix. Hindi na ako mag exercise So hindi na pala yeah. exercise talaga yun. Definitely. So again, it's very important. Um, maintain your one meter social distancing if you're doing your outdoor exercises. And more than the exercises, um, it's very important also to eat healthy. Right, because we said earlier it's eighty percent nutrition. So what I what I do, like on the next slide, please. Um, you can do healthy home cooked meals. Um, what I noticed also now when I changed my lifestyle, um, uh, my family, um, actually, what I was in, I influenced my family too to start their fitness journey as well. So we're cooking healthy meals at home, hanggang nakasanay na namin, and we rarely eat pork. So it's more of vegetables, chicken, fish, and mga more of Pinoy food. Kasi yung iba, they, they really get intimidated to start their fitness journey because of what they see on social media that you have to eat this, you have to eat that. And sometimes it costs you some bucks. And if you are a mom or a dad who, 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 manage, who manages his or her budget, minsan it's very intimidating to buy pa yung mga nabibili online. So what I suggest is that you stick with your root, like, like what I do, no? I love Filipino food, so that's what I cook. It's always a matter of having healthy options. It doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. So, and if you have home-cooked meals, the tendency is for you to avoid buying on online, right? Like right now, on daming platform, right? So, this will really, you know, um, what do you call this? Encourage you to, to eat healthier and spend, I mean, yeah, spend less <laughs> instead of buying on online. I think that's good enough motivation for everyone, no? Kasi yun nga, eh, ang bilis na lang mag-order ngayon. Grab food, lala food, di ba? Panda. So, ang da and and daming options now where you can just deliver, right? So, it's still, ano pa rin, best, no? You recommend pa rin healthy home-cooked meals. Definitely. So, basically, everything that I, that I said or discussed within that last 29 minutes are actually my personal experience. So I think as a fitness and wellness coach, 
Um, I really had to went through that being overweight. So para it's easier for me to relate it to other people. I used to be very busy with my with my job wherein nakalimutan ko na yung work life balance and in return it alam mo yon nagdeteriorate din yung health ko. And I think I really had to under to experience that for me to be able to relate to my clients right now, especially those who are working from home, moms or parents that are really busy. So if you will see there on my next slide, that is actually my one month progress after being healthy. No? So that was my, my target talaga is to have a normal BMI. And I everything that I discussed earlier, yun talaga yung pinalo ko. I had to have my regular workout, eat properly, um, have enough, enough sleep, um, drink plenty of water. So I think after a month, it's worth it. And actually, that's the first month progress ko and it became a lifestyle. So that's what I'm doing for the last two years already. And now that I am a fitness coach, um, I want to spread the, the what, I, what I experienced and hopefully to motivate others also to jumpstart their fitness journey. Right. So it's really a challenge, no? So nakita natin yung transition mo dito, coach, no? From your previous state, no? I think you were overweight during this time, you mentioned earlier, yes. up to the present. Yes. So basically, the the first photo, I was overweight. That's the that's my turning point when I decided to, to um, start my fitness journey. And then the second picture is on my third month of my um, of my um, continued healthy lifestyle. So, and the last photo is actually my most recent photo. Um, you will see, no, uh, what I always tell people, it's more than just the physical. Um, my approach to fitness is holistic. So you have to be fit mentally, emotionally, spiritually to be able to, to achieve your full potential as a person. And I think it's very relatable whether you're, you're single, you're a mom, you're a prof young professional. It has to be like that. Eh? And I think that's my purpose right now, to, to make people realize the, the value of um, healthy lifestyle. Okay. So sa palagay mo, ano, people can also do that. In the same journey, the same process that you went through. Kasi yung iba, akala, akala nila, fitness is something that you can do one in one snap, di ba? Yes, definitely. No? And I must admit, when I started with my fitness journey, marami akong panahon na naiinip din sa resulta, right? So again, that's why we call it journey. Just like any other journey, a personal or professional journey, you have your own ups and downs. But the good thing is you learn. And that learning is something that you can use to help other people to, to, to get inspired with their journey as well. And you can see naman based on the photo, it took me two years to, to have that um, achievement. And I'm still learning during this process. Right, but at least no. Uh, one, as you saw the result in a month, pero na no, meron na para talagang may expect. Depending, of course, on the kind of effort that you will do, right? Yes, definitely. Because that one month is actually very strict diet, siya. So again, I had to do my own research about food. But what I did during that time is I I ate less carbs and I I ate uh, healthier options and then yeah, work out and proper sleep. So everything that I that I um, uh, discussed earlier regarding the healthy tips. Those are, those are my personal experiences. And I think it is very relatable to everyone. And it's something that I can really use also. Right. Well, you mentioned, Karina, that you started a community. And uh, I believe it's called Get Fit with Rita. Can you share more about it? All right. So um, Get Fit with Rita is, the, um, is my online fitness community. So just to give you a brief background on how it started. So I think it started March 23. Um, yeah, it was during the pandemic, no? So during that time, so nag lockdown na and I had nothing to do as well. And uh, and I know Martin makakarelate yung mga tao sa akin na somehow um, naging emotionally and mentally stressed ako because of what's happening, right? Because it's something na first time eh, first time nating na-experience lahat and Somehow, I, I had a little anxiety, I must say. So, sabi ko, nako, mukhang magtatagal pa tong pandemic na to. And what should I be doing right now? I'm not allowed to go out, right? I'm not even allowed to, to go to the grocery. So, ano ba yung pwede kong gawin? So, I really prayed for it. And it's an answered prayer that since being 
um, since fitness is my passion, so I had to create a community. So I think Get Fit Rita started as an online fitness community composed of young professionals and moms. So it started amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's very simple, Martin. So we utilize the power of social media. I just posted on my Facebook, like who wants to um, to join my 10-day home workout challenge. So we will be doing home exercises at the comfort of your home using, um, using tables, chairs, and like that. And to my surprise, um, in a span of two days, I had 100 plus members already and it keeps growing every day. So okay. right now, we are on our third month already and I thought it was just during the pandemic, but then um, it gave us good results and motivation, especially for moms to jumpstart their fitness journey. And it's something that I said, okay, I think this is a uh, um, God-given community to me already, so I had to continue with it. And right now, um, we have 200 plus members already and we're doing the workout on our own convenient time, but still, we're still motivating one another there. Okay. All right, so maybe you can share more uh, on this. So it's really from passion to purpose, no? That that's that's a main reason why you 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 went through this journey, this community. Yeah. So actually, again, being a fitness enthusiast, it was really enthusiast. So it's a passion. It's something that I like doing. I'm really passionate about it. But when I started the online fitness community, it's more than just that. Eh? Um, you are you you are being used to inspire and to motivate um, other people to take care of their body, um, to instill to them the value of self love and self care. And I think no, it's not just for women, but also for for men like you and like other professionals there that we tend to be so focused with our jobs, with our different responsibilities, without even realizing. Yung sarili na pala natin, yung napapabayaan natin. So I think that is my purpose, to remind you, to remind everyone that, you know, despite all these um, responsibilities that we have, um, it's very important to still prioritize yourself. Okay, maybe you guys, you're, 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 the community, so ano yung essence ng community niya? So the community, of course, gives motivation to one another. I know that it's really, really hard to work out alone. Right? Parang minsan, wala. Ang hirap hanapin ng self-motivation. So what we do, we have a group chat on Facebook. And you will see there are a lot of women sending their post-workout selfie, pre-workout selfie, or whatever they're uh, they're going to do for that day based on the programs that I gave them. And you know what? When you see someone posting a photo there na, shocks na workout na siya, so I have to work out also. And makikita mo, no, like, for this moms, uh, they're encouraging one another already and they are giving tips. Like say, for instance, when is the best time to work out? For me, kasi the best time to work out is actually any time of the day naman. Kasi kumbaga, kabisado na natin yung, yung schedule natin, right? But for, for other moms who are new to this journey, like they would give or exchange, um, what do you call this? Uh, mag exchange sila ng information na ako ang best time mag-workout sa akin 6 a.m. kasi tulog pa yung bunso ko, right? Or ako, after na, sa gabi na kasi I have an early meeting. So, they give support to one another. And of course, being a mom, being a woman, or being someone in the professional world, um, it's easy for them to understand each other's journey, mm -hmm. right? So, mabilis makarelate kasi iba, iba rin yung, yung situation eh. And of course, ano, it serves as their ano also, um, what do you call this? Outlet, right? Kasi sabi nga ngayon, social distancing. So bawal muna ang pagtitipon-tipon. We're not allowed to, to go out and meet other people. So though this is just an online platform, it's very important that they're still having that um, social relationship with, with other people. So I think the um ang pinaka magandang naging reason dito is more than just being physically fit mentally and emotionally yung yung mga members natin uh, they be, they become stronger and better version of themselves kasi after the 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 EC, I mean ECQ eh makikita niya mama i-share ko yung mga results yung mga naging transformation and we're very happy about it you mentioned kanina you're about 100 plus women na ngayon um, that was on the on the first week. Right now, we are at 200 plus. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're still growing. 
All right. Maybe we can see some pictures of them. Right. So, yeah, and, um, it all started as a 10-day home workout challenge to a community of strong, healthy, and beautiful women. As you can see, no, those photos were sent to me by these ladies. Actually, not to me, but on our um, group. So, yun yung sinasabi ko sa'yo kanina na like, kahit tinatamad na mag-workout yung isa, pag may nag-send ng, ng selfie, workout selfie, susunod-sunod na yung nag-workout. So, those photos were sent in our group chat. And it really serves as a motivation to one another. And mind you not, even though I'm a fitness coach already, there were really there are really time pa rin na I myself is looking for motivation. And it's a good thing I have my community because they, they are the one who also inspires me, inspire me in, in, some, in many ways. Right. And I think mas maganda talaga pag may community, there's a sense of accountability for each other. No? So I like That's what you said that you had to push each other, you know? So even you, yourself as a coach, yun nga, sometimes you also lack motivation. And so having that kind of accountability for other people as well is, you know, a motivation enough, right? Yes, yes, that's right. So having said that, right? So you are motivate. we are motivating one another. So it started as a 10-day home workout challenge until it became... 14 days, 21 days, 30, 30 days. So right now, what I will be sharing to you are the testimonies of, of our um, fitness program. So these are actually mothers already. So if you can see naman, oh, they really lost weight. Like they lost 13 pounds from 90 kilograms to 67. Some are like 13 pounds. And Martin, for your information, some of these women are far from their family. So, inabutan sila ng lockdown. Some of them are are from Baguio, um, El Nido. Ang sarap ma-lockdown sa El Nido, no? <laughs> or sa Coron. So, <laughs> yes. Pero at least, no, they were still able to find time and work out even during lockdown, right? Yes. And actually, yun yung sinasabi mo kanya na maximizing. I'm sorry for for the title, right? But maximizing this the quarantine season. Yes. They are all working from home. Some are um, mommies. Some are professionals. But then again, ito yung mga tao na they took advantage of, of, the, of working from home. And makikita mo naman talaga yung mga results na nangyari sa kanila. Imagine those three photos. These are less than three weeks. Right? Wow. So imagine what you can do to your body in less than three weeks. So it's yung sinasabi natin kayo ng my body won't change anymore. It's it's really, it's not true because based on these photos, you can change a lot in better ways, in so many ways. So Coach Rita, they were able to work out and lose and get all of these results without a gym, given na naka-lockdown. Siyempre, di ba? Nagsarado lahat yes. ng gym. Yes. Um, so we're all doing this at home. So what I do is that um, I, I, I gave them their own program based on their target, based on their body composition. Because you know what, with all, with all that we see on social media right now, especially, and dami mong makikita ang mga home workouts, definitely it's something that you really can do. But if you're really targeting on, on, on a specific goal, dun pumapasak yung 80% nutrition, 20% exercise, and you really have to have a meal plan or a diet that suits you kasi minsan ang problema just because this doing this person is doing the keto keto diet or this one is doing the lc diet or this one is doing the if gagayahin mo na um i discourage that because again different people have different body composition have different um what you call this um yung iba kasi like say for instance, yung mga diabetic you can, or, or high blood pressure, you can give them a certain diet, right? So again, doon pumapasok yung, yung ating expertise as a fitness and wellness coach that it has to be tailored fit for mm -hmm. someone. Your workout, Martin, can be my workout, <laughs> definitely sure. not. Or my workout might be too light for you. So it's a, so it's it's, it's, a, a it's, it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Pala. No, no. No, it's a, it has to be tailored fit based on what you need. And that's what we did. And again, we're really happy because definitely no equipment needed, no gym needed, but it has to be pure dedication and discipline. Okay, well, maybe you can share a little about the kind of approach no, you have with Get Fit with Rita. Yeah, like what I would always say, uh, my approach is very holistic. Um, I don't want you to lose weight 
or to be sexy or to get fit because gusto mo lang. I mean, gusto mo yun yung makita ng ibang tao. It has to be holistic, meaning you have to fix your diet. You have to be um, responsible enough. You have to be a mindful eater. You, you know what you eat, what you put inside your body. And of course, you have to be strong, not just physically, but also emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. So it's it's really a bigger picture. It's more than just being beautiful on the outside. What matters to me and what is important to me as a fitness coach is that you are really um, fit from the inside. And then whatever good thing there is in there is on the inside it's something that people see on the outside so it's more than just what the eyes can see right okay so ano kaya yung magiging ano kumbaga what would be the benefits of this kind of program for our listeners ano knowledge a lot actually and um i have i have uh, put there the 10 uh, these are based on the experiences uh, of my clients. So I actually had a survey on them. So it has to be realistic. Because eh? sometimes, diba, if we're just going to get on Google, what are the top experiences or what are the what are the pros of getting of getting fit? You can see a lot. But but right. this time, the one that you are seeing on the screen right now, these are actually personal experiences of, of my clients. So number one, Jan, is that Higher self confidence. Karub tong Martin ng higher self confidence. What they usually say is that nasusuot ko na yung mga luma kong damit. So there, right? So some 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 people would call it balik alindog daw sila, right? So again, higher self confidence, and it's something that's coming from the inside, correct? So uh, next is healthy weight loss. Um, with personally as a coach, I don't want you to lose weight. In a snap, right? Yung, okay, you will lose 20 pounds. I promise you that. I want to make it sustainable in such a way that what you are doing right now is something that you really can sustain. Kasi di ba ang tendency minsan, we will cut everything in a period of one month. And then after that one month, pwede na ulit kainin. Baka ang sabihin, tumaba lang ako lalo kay Coach Rita. Maybe that's because the, the diet or the the program given to you is not sustainable. So what we do here is we do sustainable um, diet na kaya mo talagang gawin. Healthy lifestyle talaga. That's something you can do for the rest of your life. And what they say, and I think most of you would benefit from here, is that more focused on work. So like what I said, no, mentally, it will really affect you. Um, imagine you, you get enough sleep, you have proper rest, Um, you eat, nutritious food, you have proper exercise, it's definitely gonna be um, worth it because you will be more focused with your work and you have more energy. And when we say more energy, I think that means more um, more energy to do household chores, more energy to be spending time with your loved ones, especially with your kids, which is, I think, very important. And I think improved mental health. What they said is that the program really keep them um, uh, busy during the, the ECQ. And instead na magkaroon sila ng anxiety, they have a better um, outlook in life. So there. Next, um, prevent illnesses or diseases. They were like some some people talagang meron mga diab uh, diabetics sa family nila or may mga heart problems. So I think really having proper workout, proper nutrition would really... Uh, um, uh, uh, parang mas, mas maiiwasan natin yung pagkakaroon ng mga sakit na to. And of course, what they say is better relationship because sabi nung iba sa mga clients ko, when they started working out, their family started working out also. So they're working out with their husband, they're working out with their kids, and of course, kasama sa better relationship is be with the right people. Yun yung very, I think, one of the most important things also is that you spend time with people with the same goals as you, right? Um, people that would help you become a better person. And nakakatuwa because these people, no, um, my clients, they became inspiration also to other people. So imagine yung client ko dati na overweight or obese, Ngayon, she serves as an inspiration to others. So I think that's one of the beautiful things that Get Fit with Vita community I'm, that I'm very proud of is that um, right now they're setting a good example also that even though you're a mom, you're a professional, busy with job, there's really no excuse. 
And last but not the least, stronger faith. And when I say faith here, is that faith on themselves that they can really do it, that they can still be at their best despite the fact that they're already mommies or they're already professionals, very busy at work. And I think Zina, I can see it. It's very important, especially with my fitness journey. Na. Um, faith, when I say faith, is faith with God. So, talagang na ayos din yung relationship ko with God. I I prioritize going to church every Sunday already. And na ayos pati yung sa family and personal and professional life. So, I think that's just the top 10. And yan talaga yung galing din sa, sa mga clients ko. And I'm sure enough that when whoever watches um uh, this this um episode of the Filipino hospitality you yourself can experience this once you really um commit yourself to getting fit and healthy that's really getting your maximum potential as a person there oh, and hello. All right, so, thank you very much, Coach Rita. So, ayan, no, ang dami nating natutunan, ang dami nating na-pick up. And really, I hope, ano, with with our uh, learning session today, which is, of course, Motivational Monday, I hope you are motivated enough, no, to get started. I know, yun yung isa sa mga pinaka-challenging, no, to start, right? Because, again, uh, sometimes we all have these excuses, right? So I hope no, that uh, they are able to start the week, right? No, Start a Monday, start the week, right? And I hope it follows the rest of the week, the rest of the months, and the rest of the years to come for their lives. Now, where can they reach you, Coach Rita? If, if in case no, I, they want to be part of that Get Fit with Rita community, if they want to have the same results, na nakuha ng iyong mga friends, ng iyong mga clients. How can they how can they reach you? Um there. Um so I have my Facebook account and my Instagram so you can follow me there. If you want to take a screenshot of that, please do so. So I have my Instagram. I have my YouTube. So actually sa YouTube na yan, um I put there uh, some of my um workout ex uh, some of my exercises and if you need a personal trainer to jumpstart your fitness journey, I am just a click away. So kindly <laughs> click those on the links. I mean, kindly check out those social media platforms. I would be very happy to help you. <laughs> okay, ayan. Ako, so mukhang ako rin, no? I, I think it's really best. no. Uh, in fact, uh, Coach Rita has been helping me with my own fitness goals because I understand no, in order to be focused at work, in order to be able to work properly, to think properly. We and sabi nga nila, anti-COVID though yung health and wellness. No? So it's really best that we increase. It's very timely lang because of course, July is the nutrition month. No? And our topic today is very timely because it's about time no? that we really have a hand with our health, with our life, no, and having that active lifestyle. I think it's really a lifestyle, no, coach. Hindi siya basta, it's not something na okay mago workout lang ako whenever I want. And after that, I'll eat also whatever I want. Kasi iba ganun eh. Ay, okay lang nag workout naman ako, nag gym naman ako, naglalakad naman ako. I can eat anything that I want. Yeah, so in return, nothing has changed in your body as well. So parang yung, yung, yung nilus mo, binurn mo, you just ate it. So don't expect any result on that. <laughs> right. Okay, sige. So yeah, no, uh, thank you very much, Coach Rita, for joining us for our Motivational Monday. And we'll definitely keep in touch, all right? Right. Um, so thank you so much, Martin. And thank you so much. Thank you so much to everyone who watched us, or who's watching us. And I hope that since it's Monday, you start your week right. You you promise something to yourself that you would you know move a little, drink drink water, um, get enough sleep. So whatever that commitment you have for this week, please do so because you know it was just it's for you, it's for your health, for your family, for yourself. <laughs> so thank you again. All right, thank you very much, Coach Rita. Goodbye for now. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Coach Rita of Get Fit with Rita Community. Ano, and dami niyang ano, ano, and dami ng uh, kumbaga testimonies, no, with with her friends, with her clients, and I hope, no, uh, we consider that, no, we consider having an active lifestyle. I hope that we get to have that uh, most coveted work-life balance, no, na sinasabi. And 
you know, it's really possible. Ako, uh, as, 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 uh, as my personal investment with myself, I know that I want to invest much about myself. No? Sabi nga nila, if you want to achieve your full potential, you have to develop now your mind, your body, and your soul. So, so yung tatlong persona natin as a human being, you have to develop that in order to maximize your full potential. So there you go. Thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, by the way, since this is a pre-recorded uh, session, we're going to be uploading it on Monday. And please feel free to leave your comments, leave your suggestions. Uh, we'll go ahead and read those comments as well. And we'll make sure to reply to your possible inquiries no? so that we can continue to communicate. We can continue to engage. Let us know how we can help you. But again, as part of celebration of Nutrition Month for the month of July, ito po, I hope you enjoyed our session today, which is, of course, fitness during and post-GCQ. And yan, nasagot na po ni Coach Rita that yes, it is possible. It's possible for us to start the week right. It is a Monday. I hope later, no, let's start to get moving. Kahit first five minutes muna yan, 15 minutes man lang yan, 30 minutes, or if you want a whole hour, please, we don't have any excuses. We have to start acting, moving, and keep on going forward. All right? So I hope uh, we learned something today, and we're looking forward into having you again in the near future. This is Martin again, signing off.